Hi, I'm Sharon Bridgeforth, and I'm here to offer this week's That Black Mermaid Man Lady Oracle Reading. This is an ancestor deck. Uh, it is an ocean deck, so uh, it's all about love and what's under the surface. Um, I'm going to pull three cards for the week, and before I do, I just want to say that um, my what's on the surface for me in this moment as I um, pull these cards is the absolute tragedy of the loss of lives in Orlando at the um, Queer People of Color Club that just happened. Um, and so my heart goes out to all who are touched by that, to the families and communities and the souls of those um, in transition. And, you know, for myself, you know, it also puts, you know, a sobering light on the everyday fact that we live with in this country, which is that racism <clears throat> is structural and institutionalized. And, you know, issues around class and race and citizenship and you know, gender and sexuality and all of that is all just tied up in that. And um, so I hope that we are able to have some conversations, some healing, some action, and some change that is structural and institutionalized. Um, and so, yeah, just sending love and just saying, you know, that's where my heart is right now. So, for this week, here is what the mermaids are saying. Huh, huh, huh. <laughs> All right. So, for the beginning of the week, let me put my glasses on. David says purpose. David says tell the truth. That makes so much sense to me right now. We've got to tell the truth to ourselves, to each other, to this moment. And uh, hmm. David says, tell the truth. Therein, through, by, and whatnot, what you give, circle back to you. It's your treasure supposed to circulate, not your rage. <laughs> so that's what David is saying, and to me that means that um, we have the opportunity to root our truth in love and in the power that is ours therein. Middle of the week, it's honey pot. Honey pot, say change. And this one, <laughs> honey pot, say transformation. Everybody mash in. We say, we love you, honey pot. Honey pot, get to moaning. David, he will. Honey pot, snatch up more pretty, more pretty. Say, I'm so sorry. Honey pot, say, it okay, little sister. Together, honey pot and more pretty, they moan and they rock. We sing, yes, Lord, let it rest. They shake, yes, Lord, let it rest. I think that the transformation that honey pot is speaking about, especially in light of what David is saying um, in terms of telling the truth, and uh, letting it be rooted in love and not rage is um, a kind of letting go. Maybe we need rituals um, for releasing our rage and our pain and our suffering and, um, you know, things, acts, thoughts, conversations, um, connection, work that can help us transform so that we are more clear, more powerful, more rooted in love, and therefore able to work for divine change and possibility. End of week, honey pot say change, and she say, you already know. When the card is blank, it means you already know, so they ain't talking about it, therefore I ain't talking about it. So I thank the mermaids, <laughs> I think that they spoke directly to the moment uh, in a clear and powerful way. I am wishing you all love and wellness, peace and healing, divine grace and prosperity and joy. All right, till next time.